Hi, I'm Mark. This is Mark's Tech Vlogs on YouTube. And today I'm gonna to bring you guys a review of the Eufy 2K Smart Video Doorbell. Now, if you are subscribed to this channel, you'll know that a couple of weeks ago, I did a review of the Eufy Cam Pro 2, which is an outside security camera. And this really is kind of like the second part of a set of videos I'm doing about Eufy products. And for the last six months, I've owned one of the Eufy Cam Pros 2, and I've also owned the Eufy Wireless Video Doorbell. And that's the product I'm going to talk about in this video, but if you do want to watch the Pro Cam video review, I've put a link to that below. Now, Eufy are a company who actually seem to be leading the way in a lot of the smart video stuff. And the reason I think this is because they make some really good quality products, but also they don't have a subscription model. And this means if you look at any of the competitors out there, you typically find yourself stuck to some kind of subscription for things like the out of home streaming and the backups of videos. Eufy don't have that, that's all included. And that's one of the things I like about their products because once you buy them, you've got them and you haven't got to spend any more money. Now in the case of this doorbell, it retails at about a hundred pounds and it comes in a choice of two different models. You can get a battery powered model and you can get a mains powered model. Now, in my opinion, the battery powered one is the one to go for, in part because you haven't got to do any wiring, but also because it still has those mains terminals in the back of it. And that means if at some point in the future you got fed up with charging it and you wanted to hardwire it in, you can buy a cable to get it all hooked up to your mains. This basically gives you the best of both worlds. It is, however, worth saying at the start of this video that because they don't have a subscription model, you do need the Eufy Homebase 2 for this to work. Now, this quite often comes in packages with their products, so you could get the doorbell and the Homebase 2 for £150, or the Homebase on its own retails at about £100. And the Homebase is basically the thing that your wireless cameras connect to in order to send the video for it to be stored. It's also this that you connect to basically when you're outside of your home via the Eufy app. So that's just something to bear in mind before you pick one of these up, that you are going to need the home base too. I have put some links below to a selection of the products. But let's start off the review and talk about the spec. So the doorbell, as you probably guessed from the name, has a 2K built-in camera with a Sony sensor. This basically means it performs really well regardless of the day or night. This means video is crisp and clear and looks pretty good when you download it if you need to come back to it later. It has a four to three aspect ratio and this means it can basically pick up the whole body. This means if someone leaves a parcel on your doorstep, you can see that as well. This gives the doorbell a really good range, especially if you want to capture everything going on in front of your front door. Video is transmitted securely and goes to that home base too. It does have some built-in memory for some backups, but that home base has up to 16 gigabytes memory for storing all of your video from your Eufy devices. And of course, the doorbell connects to your home base too via your Wi-Fi. Also built into the doorbell, you find some AI features. Now these are particularly useful because they can detect whether it's a human or something else that's setting off a motion sensor. This means you only get the notifications for the things you want to know about. I've used this feature and it's super clever and works well every time. And then of course, as you'd expect with a video doorbell, it's got built-in two-way audio. This means you can communicate with whoever's on your doorstep if you need to tell them where to leave a parcel. This is pretty good and works reasonably well. And then we should talk about battery life because Eufy claim it has up to six months of battery life. And this is way more than anything that the Ring doorbells have. Now in practice of using this doorbell for just over six months, I'd say that actually it has less than that in terms of battery life. And I found that a battery lasted about four months. Now don't get me wrong, this is still super impressive compared to less than a month that I got out of some of the Ring doorbells. What I will say, however, is that this largely depends on how much your doorbell is used. So if you have a lot of visitors, if you pick up a lot of motion by your front door and all that kind of stuff, then what you're gonna find is your battery life goes down quicker. I'd say mine has had average use and actually that four months is quite impressive. Now the downside is that if you do want to charge that battery, you do actually need to remove your doorbell and bring it inside to plug it into a micro USB. There's a SIM removal type tool you use to remove that doorbell. And that tool also means that your doorbell is quite difficult to take if someone wanted to. And then doorbell is also compatible with both Google Assistant and Amazon's Alexa. I haven't used it with Google Assistant, but with Amazon's voice assistant, you can get announcements for when someone's at your door. And if you've got a show device, you can look at the video from your doorbell as well. Unfortunately, at the moment, there's no native app or HomeKit support. However, if you use a Raspberry Pi and something like Homebridge, you can get it to appear in your HomeKit app. That's certainly something for more advanced users, but it is something I've tried and it does work. And then there's a ton of options for tweaking and adjusting your settings in the app, and I'll talk more about them later on. So let's talk about the design of this Eufy doorbell. Now, the first thing I noticed having used a ring for a while is that the doorbell is certainly larger than some of Amazon's devices. 
That being said, it does have a really nice modern design and is basically completely black with rounded edges. On the front of it, you've got this very large obvious button and a blue ring lights up around it when it's pressed. It comes with a mount that can have a slight angle to it and if you want to adjust that angle even more, you can get a separate mount that has a bigger angle. This means you can really adjust the position you want your doorbell to be in. Once you've got it all set up, which is a really easy process, it just runs from the app on its own. Now in using this for six months, I found that I actually prefer it to the Ring doorbell. So what is it like to use? Now in using this for six months, I'd say I actually prefer this to the Ring doorbell I had before. And there's a whole variety of reasons for that. And some of the key things are just things like battery life is better and there's no subscription. And actually I think video quality is slightly better as well. The other feature I really like is you can turn on the option for a thumbnail notification. This means you don't just get a notification that says it's detected motion or someone's at your door, but you get a little picture to go with it as well. And if you're an Apple Watch user, that also comes through on your watch. This is really good because you can work out if you actually need to respond to something or not. In terms of quality of video, as you can see, quality of video during both day and night is pretty good. It picks up emotion when you need it to, and video gets stored for a reasonable amount of time. At the moment, I've got about three months worth of video stored from this camera. And the home base basically manages all of that for you. So when the memory begins to get full, it removes some of the older video. I found that the out of home access option is also pretty quick. And if I decide that I don't know if I remember to shut the front door or not, I can easily just fire up the doorbell wherever I am and check that I did. And then I found that the audio quality is perfectly fine for communicating with people when you need to. And that brings us on to talk about some more of the features, but more specifically the app. Now, one of the things I always say on this channel is that with smart home tech, the app can make or break a product. There's no point having the best smart product out there if the app is absolutely useless. Thankfully, and you'll know this if you watch my other Eufy Cam video, the app that Eufy have designed is really good. When you first open the app, you can see all of your Eufy products on that screen and there's some access to some quick controls for them. With the doorbell, you can mute the motion. This is particularly useful if you just want to know about people being at your door and you're not fussed about people just passing by who aren't ringing it. This is part of making sure you get notified for the things you want to get notified about. It's also here you can easily click through to see a live view. And then you can also go into the settings and adjust those if you want to. Now it's in the settings you can turn on things like the video quality and the audio quality. You can sort out those thumbnail notifications. You can set privacy zones as well. And you can also decide how sensitive you want the motion to be. These are all really useful for making sure you get the most out of your battery life, but also get the most out of a device for yourself. Allowing you to cover kind of the key things that you want to do with this doorbell. It's also worth saying if you do go for the snooze features, video still gets recorded. You just don't get a notification about it. It's also in the settings that you can check how long your battery life has lasted and what the current status is. When the battery gets low, you will get a notification encouraging you to charge it. There's also a whole other load of settings here that I won't go into, but there are more than enough settings for kind of any setup that you want. If you've got a question about any settings in particular, do stick them below and I will answer those for you. And then in the app, there's the events tab, and this allows you to view events from your devices. Now this does collate all your devices together, but it easily allows you to go back and see what you need to see. For example, if one of your neighbors was to say there was a disturbance three nights ago, you could easily go back and look for any footage your camera might have picked up. Once you've got this footage open, you can easily download it to your device or send it to yourself. You can even share it with other people if you need to. All in all, the app is really well thought out and works really well. And that brings us on to the end of this review where I say really, well, what's the verdict on this Eufy doorbell? And if you haven't guessed it from this video, I think this is an absolutely brilliant product and certainly one of the best video doorbells on the market. One of the things I'd like to see in the future is support for HomeKit, which they have added to some of their cameras, but that's probably me being a little bit picky. If we've learned anything from Eufy and the outside cameras, however, this is something they can push via a software update. And then if I was gonna make one other minor criticism, I'd say that having to take the whole doorbell down rather than just being able to have a removable battery is a little bit of a pain for charging. However, when realistically you're talking about charging this a maximum of maybe four times a year, that's not really the end of the world. All in all, this is a great product that looks good, takes really good quality video, and basically does everything you could want it to do. Little things like the option to announce rings through things like Amazon devices also mean you don't have to worry about having a chime. And of course, if you're happy with just the notifications coming through to your phone or your watch, you don't need a chime anyway. That being said, Eufy do sell chimes. 
I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you've got any questions, do stick them below and I will try and answer those. As with kind of most of the tech on this channel, unless I tell you otherwise, this is something I have purchased myself for my own use. I have put some links below if you want to pick this up through Yuffie's website or through Amazon, and they are affiliate links. That basically means I get a small portion of anything that you buy. And if you do do that, that's really helpful and thank you because that helps keep this channel going and helps me make videos like this for you guys. It's also worth saying with Black Friday coming up that it's worth keeping a lookout on Amazon because some of the deals on the Eufy devices are already kicking off and there's some really good prices out there. Hope you guys have found this video helpful and I'll see you guys again soon.